everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So it's a uh, new panty day. Now a couple of these you may have seen a version of in previous videos, but these are different styles. Well, there's one pair that is exactly like another pair I bought because the other pair was ripped and um, I couldn't find another pair big enough to fit over my butt. Um, and then I found one, so I got one. So we'll show you those first these little boy shorts right here um when i bought them before i didn't realize in the store but they were ripped like the seam and i could have sewn it back together but i didn't yet i still have them but i didn't do that yet so but i love them i love plaid um a long time ago i saw donnie Wahlberg from new kids on the block when he was in new kids on the block i mean this was a i mean i guess he still is but i mean when new kids on the block first came along like in the early 90s this is a very long time ago i heard him say plaid was his favorite color and i was like i get that you know but yeah these are just super cute and i just had to get them so i got some of those and then this i have shown y'all before this print in a bikini version this is a boy short right here i think it's really cute really sunny um, very Florida. Not that I'm going to wear these outside in the sun or anything, but you know, just to show you. I hope the crotch is all turned inside out. And I've shown you all this before. I like the crotch in, in these underwear because they're wider. I, I don't know who these little skinny ones, these skinny crotches are made for. Like a woman with no flaps, I guess. I don't know. But, um, uh, and then I have these, I bought these, and I don't know if I like them. I don't love the color. Um, these are also boys, little boy shorts. They're cute, and they're going to look cute on, you know, seam up the back, which is my favorite. It makes the butt pop. I love a cute little seam up the back. But I don't know if I love the color. On camera, I love the color. In person, I don't love the color. And then this color i absolutely love and this is another pair of boy shorts um i have a pair similar to this color but they have a little butterfly on them these are plain right here super cute i love these i love that color and then these i have the boy short version of and i saw them in the bikini and i had to get the bikini I, what is that oh it's just a piece of fuzz but I love it. And again, look at that crotch. That is made for a woman's crotch, not some little skinny Barbie doll crotch. But anyway, I love these. Now, this doesn't have the seam up the back, so I don't love that. Um, but yeah, those are really cute. So I got one, two, three, four, five pair. Five new pairs. Um, now, the pair I'm wearing right now, I have a really cute pair. They're bright yellow and I love them. I got them from Sheen. They, I hadn't put them on until this morning, so I put them on, and they are so cute on that I almost wish I could show you how cute they are on me, but, you know, obviously I can't do that. Um, this isn't adult content. Uh, well, it kind of is, but not that kind of adult content. Um, and while I've got you here, let's talk about selling panties online. I've seen a lot of information about it. I've seen a lot of women who do it, just normal everyday women. You would never think that they did anything beyond going to Starbucks and, you know, hanging out at the soccer field with their kids. You would never think that they would do something like that. Not that it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. And then I'm like, why am I not doing that? <laughs> why am I not making extra money doing that? So yes, yes. I am thinking about starting a panty deal or a, what is it, Sophia Gray. I am thinking about trying it. Just trying it to see what happens. Um, uh, you know, I don't see an issue with that. I really don't. Now, some of you viewers may be like, oh, no, no. But hear me out. Hear me out. I, and I know most people don't like their job. Actually, I love my job, like what I do. But, um. I just, I kind of have a feeling it's not going to last. <laughs> I have a little temper. I don't like being gaslit and I don't like being bullshitted around. And I kind of feel like I'm getting that a lot. And uh, something's got to give. I can't, 
I am, I'm going to make a video about this feeling I've been having because I know it's internal in me. It's not the world. It's me. But anyway, that's something else. But I'm not, see, I love my job and what I do. And, um, it's just that I feel like I work from home. I work by myself, but I feel like a lot of stuff coming from the other people who are also working at their homes is, I don't know, I may as well work in an office with them because it's just constant like this and that and this and that. And I'm like, look, y'all are just making shit up. Cause I, I think it's at this point to where they're just making shit up to pick on me for it. I'm like, well, no, I didn't do that. And I think that so they have, we all have access to each other's work and I don't like that because then someone can literally go in and change what I've done, save it and show it to the boss and say, I did that. And I think that that is happening and there's no way to protect your work. There's no way to protect it because I, you know, I can't save it on my own drop, like on my own, like my phone or something, because that's a, a big company. No, no. And, um, I mean, I, I have a folder I can save it to, but they have access to that folder, you know, and I just, I think that's weird. I've never worked for a company where everybody just has access to everybody's work. You know what I mean? Like at the job I used to have at the hospital, you know, I, I'll never go back to that. I might go back to that line of work, but I'll never go back to that environment. It, our work was protected. Like if I did work, the only way someone else could see my work is if I sent, sent it to them. Otherwise they couldn't see my work. So I just think that's weird. Everybody having access to everybody's work. And then they're all about, make sure you save your passwords here so everybody can log into all your things and, that is just weird to me. <laughs> That's weird to me because literally anybody, like if someone gets pissed off at somebody else at work, they can go in and, uh, you know, fuck with their work. You know what I mean? So that's weird to me. But anyway, enough about this. This video is about panties. So quick review. You know, I think these are going to be kind of big on me though. You know, but we'll try them. They're cool. They're nice. This material is nice and cool. It's a cool day, though, so that could be why. So we'll fold these up. So, yeah, quick review. I got these, these right here, and these little pink ones, these little boy shorts. Most of them are boy shorts, except for the one bikini. These, which again, I'm not excited about this color. But I love the way the color is reading on camera. I got these little boy shorts and these, which are my favorite because they're boy short, they're plaid, and they've got the seam up the butt. I'm, my, I'm glad I finally found a pair in my size because of the other pair being ripped. But like I said, I'm still going to probably sew them up the back, but... Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I am thinking about doing panty deal or something like that. I know a lot of y'all are thinking, oh, nasty, but you know what? I need the money. I need the money. <laughs> I do, because something's got to give, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's it. Uh, I will talk to everyone later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.